Well, good morning. It's Airstream Dragon Day again here in Whittier, North Carolina at the Tuckasegee, Tuckasegee RV Resort. And today we are going to drive the Blue Ridge Parkway. We're starting at the very first part of it and we're going to drive it over near Asheville. And we still need to put our North Carolina sticker on. But small, small space living, getting ready on a travel day. Let me show you what has to happen here. Close your eyes. We're coming in. <laughs> Everything in a travel trailer has to have at least two purposes. So the toilet doubles as a vanity. You know, you just got to do what you got to do. Gets the job done. And when you right? got to put your makeup on, you got to sit somewhere to do that. This is the perfect vanity area, right? It works. Works for me. We often store our hitch and the rock tamers on the receiver that we have on the back of the Airstream. Makes navigating around town, finding parking a whole lot easier. Plus, nobody loses their shin trying to navigate around the truck. Just like that. I ordered a package. Uh -huh. Oh, we can send it to arrive on Saturday. Now it's saying okay. You know, fingers crossed it gets here before we hey, leave. Hey, even I... though, on your way out, just stop and poke your head in. Linda's working today. If it's okay. there, great. Um, okay. If not, we'll hold on to it until you come back by and get it. Thank you so no much. problem. Thank that. you guys for staying with us. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. It was the best. <laughs> still there when we get to Asheville. I'm Betty. See you there. Thank you. Yeah, I'll get this little bit of trash right here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks I got it, y'all. Hey, baby doll. Hey, baby. <laughs> Hello. Y'all be careful here. Okay, we'll thank see y'all next time. Y'all come back. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. Bye. bye.
So proud to live. So proud to die. Christ Latter-day Saints, they have Mormons here! <laughs> what? People, people who like people, are the craziest people <laughs> in the world. There's something wrong with us. <laughs> so many things. We live at 45 what? It starts. Go 55. Okay. Alright, we're about to take a right hand turn. Wayne right? County. I don't know. Onto the US 19, US 441 North. Turn right onto US 19, US 441 North, and then go 0.5 miles. 0.5. What happened? Like a half five? a mile. Look how pretty we are. Hang on, Greta. Hang on. <laughs> Blue Ridge Parkway, next right. Oh my god. Okay, I need to 360 some of this. Because dang, Skippy. Arguably ranking among the world's great road trips, the Blue Ridge Parkway was built in the 1930s to connect Great Smoky Mountains National Park with Shenandoah National Park. There are no billboards or neon signs, no restaurants or shopping centers, and only one hotel on the road's entire length. Only nature and convenient overlooks from which to view and explore it. You know, every now and then stuff like this just happens. Originally known as the Appalachian Scenic Highway, it was created as part of President Roosevelt's New Deal. Construction began in 1935 near Cumberland Knob, North Carolina, and ended in 1987 near Grandfather Mountain State Park. All but the last seven miles was completed in 1966. Theoretically, it would take 15 hours to drive the Blue Ridge Parkway straight through. All the things you're missing And everything we go through I'll be by your side So let's run away to far away places The Blue Ridge Parkway speed limit is 45 miles per hour and no big trucks are allowed. Airstreams are, fortunately for us. Your heart is the place I call home. Whoa. 
Our caravan was careful to spread out with no more than a few rigs traveling together and to pull to the side if more than a few cars were lined up behind us. Life is an adventure Anywhere we are Have we gone 500 yards? We've gone more. I don't know what that sign was talking about, but the GPS has not got us there yet. We didn't miss it. It says it's up here. Uh. After 1,000 feet, turn left onto Bear Creek Local Health Park, and then you will reach your destination. I think that's it up there. I'm seeing airstreams up there, but it said 1,000 feet. That's got to be a better turn into an RV park than that. This there we is, go. This is Thank right. goodness. Okay, that was 1,000. This road is not RV friendly. So we just go straight to our spot. Reach your destination. <sighs> Okay, yes, yeah, Midge Caravan. I was thinking we might have to go behind that sign. But... The next day. Super fun day on the parkway yesterday. So much to see. Pretty drive, slow drive. But we made it, had a, a nice get together last night for a catered dinner. Today we are off to the Biltmore Estate. Take a tour of that place. I just wanna show you what the weather looks like this morning here. It's pretty fantastic. There are mountains out there somewhere. We'll go find them later in the day. So we uh, are supposed to get rain, 60% chance today and 80% tomorrow when we go zip lighting. So stay tuned for the weather forecast. about that one? This, this is their driveway. Look at all the bamboo. It's a three mile drive from the entry of the property to the Biltmore house. I want to go frolic in the meadow. Okay, you got time. You're right. We caught up with our group. We did. There's Tab and the pools. The pools are <clears> the ones <throat> with the wood boats. And he built them, right? Good morning. Ask the guards to take a look. Thank you. You slot A, B, C, D, E. Here, 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 and here. Here, 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 Anywhere. A pork and ride. Pork and walk. The wait to get in for the tour wasn't too bad, maybe only about 10 minutes. The detail on these. You're not allowed to film or take video inside the mansion, but you are allowed to take photographs. So we did. Built between 1889 and 1895 by railroad magnate George Washington Vanderbilt II, Biltmore boasts an impressive 178,926 square feet of space, making it the largest privately owned residence in the United States.
This is one of two elevators in the Biltmore House. Installed in 1895 by the Otis Elevator Company, they were the first elevators in Asheville and are the oldest operating elevators in the southeastern United States. We just took the stairs to the basement to continue the tour. Vanderbilt envisioned his estate as a self-sufficient community with its own dairy, farms, and gardens. The legacy continues today with the estate producing much of its own food. With the tour of the house complete, we made our way over to the gardens and conservatory. Rose garden. I never promised you a rose garden. Why didn't we just drive through here and park down there? Right. Because we're stupid. We didn't know. Nobody told us. Tell people. Walk back up, get your truck, and park down by the garden. The, what is that? The gardens? The yeah. garden shop. Most of the entry and exit route is one way, so you can't get out the same way you came in. It's a 6.7 mile drive to get to the exit. Ridiculous. I mean, they're going to make sure you're going to see everything. You can't just leave. All tours must exit through the gift shop. We just want to get out of here. Two and a half more miles to get out. <laughs> We've driven seven already. So this is the road we came in on. You're free, baby. The next morning. Just waiting on you and me Take it in 
this wow. makes everything so pretty. So that's invasive. There used to be a barn there. Right? Oh Nature my is gosh. Taking it back. It's like a virus, you know. Look at that cute little cottage. Look at that house over there. Nestled up against the hill. Reminds me of the green island. Go zip lining, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> My legs are on so pouring rain. It will be fun though. Mm -hmm. oh, glad we're all passing the way in. We were able to wear our Crocs on the whitewater rafting trip because they had straps on them. Cindy wore hers again today, but they said absolutely no sandals and no Crocs, not even if they have straps on them. Fortunately, they had a pair of shoes that Cindy could borrow, and she did bring some socks. She wasn't the only member of the group that was wearing Crocs. Maybe we need to start a GoFundMe to get Cindy a proper pair of shoes. Just be aware that any and all valuables you take out on course with you is at your own risk. And if you do happen to drop or lose anything at all, it will be gone forever and you are never going to get it back. <laughs> <laughs> your tour is going to be around two and a half hours long. For those that chose not to do the zip lining, they also offered a guided RTV shadow tour that shadowed the zip lines and you got to see things from a different angle. We thought it would be safer to hang from a wire 350 feet in the air. Again, stores always coming open. Okay. Uh, David? Yep. Yeah. Uh, the Hathaways, party of two. The Appel, party of two. And McCarthy. Just one, right? Party of one. Okay. It's flying slow. <laughs> Yeah, literally. Okay. Um, so again, my name is Ethan. That's Kate. Yeah. So we want to get your name to know your names as well. So Kate. Dan. 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 Jay. Jay. David. David. Cindy. Cindy. D. Dean. No N, just no D. N. Just D. A B C D. 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 Yeah. Okay. Was that Sydney or Cindy? Okay. Cindy. 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 All right. Because we're feeling ready, we're gonna follow Candace on up there and get her stuff. So are you all coming from Charlottesville, Virginia? No. We're no? coming from Arizona. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're all from different places. Oh, I see. So what's the occasion? We're a uh, Arizona Travel Trailer Group. Oh, okay, and cool. And doing a, a caravan together. That's awesome. So we're driving the parkway, getting ready to go to the Arizona Travel Trailer Group. Yeah, that's awesome. 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 Yeah, that's 60 miles per hour, okay? Nice. And we'll be zipping up um, 3,600 feet in length and 350 feet above the forest floor. Ooh. So if you have any debilitating fear of heights, uh, just know this is a challenge by choice activity, meaning at any point in time, if you need to be taken off the course or you're not feeling it, just let me or Ethan know and we're going to take you off, okay? Any condition that prevents you from hiking, <laughs> One mile on unassisted or rough, unassisted on rough or steep terrain. Um, any musculoskeletal, cardiac, or seizure disorders. Um, good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you guys are ready, um, you can go ahead and step, step into your leg loops, and we'll help you out. Okay. Up to your belly button, like funky pair of pants. Funky pair of pants. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this for you. So, Dee, where are you from? Arizona. Oh, nice. We're not enjoying your humidity here at all. No? The rain, yes. Yeah, I bet. I'm from Colorado, so uh, I know. You get it. 
Thank you. Thank you. What is that, baby? It's a nice rack. It's a nice rack. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been here before? No, I, I ziplined in Alaska. Oh, cool. And it was a much larger kind of outdoorsy kind of off-road TV vehicle. Right. Oh, really? And I was in the very back, and then it was up the road like this. So I got a good view? Yep. Sweet. Are we ready? Much like our whitewater rafting trip, the bus ride to get to the start of it was the most adventurous part. subsect of the Appalachian Mountains today. They get their name from the blue hue that you see out in the distance. Um, obviously, yeah, it's looking a little white today. It's a but, little white. Um, white mountains, okay. Keep both your hands on the handlebar. That'll keep you from twisting and turning and spinning around and doing that kind of thing. So zip lining is best done. Point is straight. <laughs> Hold on, I need to call State Farm real quick. Get the insurance up. You ready? I am ready. Okay. Okay. I'm good. Just like and this, right? yeah, I'll tell you when to go. Okay, this is gonna sit over your shoulder. Uh -huh. So if, when you guys are ready, you just get in your harness and lift your feet up. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Woo -hoo! Oh. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to pull you in one at a time because it's pretty slippery now. Excuses, excuses. Like it? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Right after the van ride, it got fun. Oh, the van ride is terrifying. This <laughs> is the fun part. Mm, so cool. For sure. I'm so glad cool. you talked me into it. Yeah. Yay. Wow, look at that. <laughs> awesome. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! How'd you do? Great. Wasn't that fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Good thing. Great. That's awesome. I was like, oh my god, I'm coming in awful fast. Right. <laughs> so allegedly, um, Blackbeard's ship was massive to a popular. All right. See you on the other side. Okay, ready? Okay. Go! No. Ready? Ready? Let's do it! One, two, three. Yeah, baby! Coming in hot. Coming in hot, yep. There she is. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Amazing. Oh my gosh, so pretty. With the, the rain hitting the face, I was like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that is real. And I believe it's just a black snake. snake. Yeah. yeah, they're friendly. Just a black snake. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, yeah, just leave him be. He's going in his home. Yeah. yeah let's just... As long as you don't climb up there. 
There might be a mama around. I don't think we see the baby. Yeah, no, no. Safe from that bear, but his mother is around. Right? Right? I think there's more up higher, so I think we should just walk past. Well, that's just great. You hear that, Ed? Bears. Hey, bear. oh, there you go. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. Yeah, there's one hey, way up there. <laughs> there's one way up there. I can't see it from here, but I saw him move. Another one? Yeah. I can't believe she spotted it. That's amazing. So a bear oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, if you stand right here, you can look up through the canopy to like a few branches above is way up there. Oh yeah, way up there. Okay. That's probably wow. And before you guys take off, I'll just have you kind of sit in your harness. Woo! One, two, three. Because there oh. are many Arizona. Okay, yeah. we can do that. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at ice. Ice one? Super successful zip lining. I thought. Saw two bears and a snake. Well, you'll see them too. Now we're going to go see food. We zip lined up a powerful hunger. So we stopped at the Stony Knob Cafe. It's very eclectic, let's, let's say. Let me show you around. And I'm going to try the chicken and waffles and see what the big attraction is for chicken and waffles for, well it's not breakfast, but it's breakfast for us. I'll let you know. <laughs> I promise I'll stop picking dog hair off of you as soon as you start recording. Okay. Oh hi. It was a fun little restaurant. It was such a cute, fun restaurant. How was your, how was your omelet? Oh my gosh. I'm, I, that's, remember when we said we were never going to eat out again? We, yes. <laughs> and I'm here really we glad, are. I'm really glad that we decided to eat out. I was starving to death. It doesn't matter how hungry I was. That food was amazing. I had an omelet that had the best bacon ever, cheddar cheese, potatoes, onions, like big old slices of onions in it. Potatoes on the side, English and muffin. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I've never had an omelet that good. Wow. Stony, wow. Stony, Stony Knob Cafe in North Carolina. Where are we? It is. Weaver. Sorry about that battery change. Um, I was going to do the chicken and waffle report. I tried it. This trip is about trying new things. It, it is not going to be my go-to. It was not bad. It was not like the salmon gravy or whatever we had, <gasps> right? At, at Grandma's place. <laughs> but it is not going to be my, my go-to. I should have no. I should have done what I did because we're trying new things. Um, I have, however, talked myself out of trying the boiled peanuts after hearing so many stories. So there will be no boiled peanut That's report. That's wrong. All right, we're going to go home and rescue some puppies and rescue the neighbor from letting the puppies out because... 
Yeah, our neighbor was so nice. She didn't go on the zip lining trip, so she offered to let our dogs out while we were gone. Yeah. Of course, she said Gigi's the only one that tinkled. The other two didn't. I'm like, well, that's figures. That's, that's how course. they are. All right, do the that way. Hey, good morning. It is Airstream Dragging Day again. Let's do that again. <laughs> 